Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today I'm replacing this all-in-one cooler that I had installed. Uh, I picked up a used one at an auction, didn't test it beforehand, got it all installed, realized it doesn't work and need to swap it. So stay tuned. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, I like to talk new technology. Anytime I'm doing something computer-related, I'll, I'll record it and, and, and share it with you guys. So. I'm working on, on this build here. Uh, it's a kind of a, a low tier system uh, with some extra parts. I'll do a separate video about this system uh, and how it works out. But the goal is to uh, get this all-in-one cooler replaced uh, so that I can get Windows installed on it. Uh, when I booted this thing up, I can try and do that. I, um, I noticed the lights didn't come on uh, when I booted it, <clears throat> so it's booting now. Uh, usually, the only one there's there's a light, and it should say next uh, across it. Uh, and it didn't. I said, okay, well may, maybe the lights don't work. Uh, I ended up installing Windows, getting to a point, and then I just kept rebooting over and over. So my theory is is that the system is overheating because the only one is not doing its job. So. I have ordered a replacement and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk through the steps to take it apart and essentially swap in a uh, new one uh, for the old one. So let me, let me move the computer into a better spot. Let me turn this off again and we'll get started. Okay, that looks like a pretty good angle top down. So, I mean, first thing first, I, I do need to disconnect it. Uh, there are four screws. Actually, I get rid of all the cables. I'm actually, I actually did all of the cable management for the system already. Um, so I don't want to mess with it at all. So I'm just going to disconnect the two cables. And that's why I ended up ordering the exact same all-in-one again. You might be asking why didn't I get something different. Uh, the X52 is actually an older model. Um, but uh, this one, that way I can keep all the cables. I can even reuse the fans if I want. Uh, but I'll probably put the new fans in there if these ones uh, are also not working. Okay, that should come off now. A little plunk. That's great. You can see the thermal paste that I applied did pretty good coverage, if you ask me. Okay, hang this guy back here. We will be reapplying uh, the thermal paste. I didn't grab a paper towel. I'll grab some of that in a bit. Okay. Next is getting the actual, uh, the fans out, um, with the all-in-one. This case, uh, I do not like it's, it's the next, uh, H510i. Uh, but it has a nice little compartment here that you can put the, um, the radiator into and then bolt the fans. So I will disconnect each of the fans. The radiator is actually floating. It's only being kept held on by the fan. So as I take the fans off, uh, the radiator kind of drops in. All right, fans are disconnected. Great radiator. There's actually some screws right here. And this little door opens. Ah! And then it's nice, you can pull things out. Slide this through the hole. And it's up. Okay, I'll set this one aside. Let me disconnect the two fans. Let's get the new box open. Brackets, 
the thing about ordering the exact same models, I don't have to worry about any of the brackets. Uh, everything should be the same. I can use all the same screws. Those are the new fans. Pre-applied paste, thermal paste, yes. Okay, cool, you see that, which is amazing. Even better. So, should be right back. I'm just gonna grab uh, something to wipe the... Uh, Kleenex is not the most ideal thing because the fibers come off. Uh, something a little more tough is better, but it did the trick. Okay. So I'm hoping I can just pass this through. If you're trying to figure out the direction of a fan, uh, a lot of fan companies have the direction uh, marked on the side. It'll keep sort of kind of spinning this way and, and shooting this way. Uh, in the case of Next, they do not, which is awesome. So uh, the easy way to figure out is uh, where there's the support, you see these support brackets, kind of the back where the motor is, that's where the fan, the, the air blows to. So in the case that we have it here, uh, we have the radiator in the front, I wanna pull air through the radiator, through the case, and then and out the back. So I want the back piece to be facing inside, inside the case. So I can figure out the wiring later. Let me get one of these screws in. Fans have been connected. I will route the cables afterwards. Let me just get them ready. And the thing about an all one that this nice, it, it, it's a full closed loop. Uh, literally you connect it, you don't have to worry about adding water or uh, it, it's, or making any change, you literally just connect power, uh, and, and that's it. So, uh, what does this say? Let's this. Okay. Uh, I know that on this model, the next symbol is this way. So I will make sure place it in a way
Okay. Now the four screws are in, we're, we're nice and tight, solid fit. Uh, reconnect the cables. Now I just need to reroute. Let me flip this up and I can show you how I'll reroute. Yeah, actually the back here a bit. I will route the cables through. I'll, uh, I'll make it pretty afterwards. Okay. Right. Let's, let's find out if, at least when we boot this, uh, the lights come on, which should be a good indication uh, that it works. Here we go. Ha! Look at that. Eh? Okay, great. I mean, so that, that's literally it, uh, how easy it was to, to replace the radiator. Uh, so you have to do the same, uh, follow, follow these easy steps. Um, it's not bad. So what I'll now do, I'm gonna take this downstairs, connect it, see if I can get it uh, working better uh, and so it's not rebooting on me um, and get Windows installed so that I can continue and then I get to my build. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you the results here before uh, to make sure it worked, uh, but then I'll do another video specifically about this computer and what I wanna do with it. Okay, stay tuned. 10 minutes later. Hey, what's up? I brought the system downstairs, booted it up. Is booted a word? Booted it, booted it up? I booted it up. And unfortunately it keeps rebooting uh, after a few seconds of being on. So I still don't know why, but at least I know the, the all in one is working properly. Uh, the lights are there, the temperatures look great. Uh, next step, I think is replace the power supply. So. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, next time we chat, I hope to have the system all complete and I can walk you through uh, some of the reasons of, of why I built that system. So thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, and I hope this helped you replace your all-in-one cooler. Thanks.